Hi everyone, I'm Humbly Anna Anders. This is Tuesday, October 9th, 2018, and just going to continue on with my activism work here, humbly and humanly at home here. So, I want to show you something. I want to make a suggestion for anyone uh, that's following me on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Go to YouTube and type in WTC7, this is an orange on YouTube. Go to YouTube and type in WTC7, this is an orange on YouTube. And please watch the video, guys, and see what you think. And after you watch that video, please feel free to share it on your Facebook walls. Share it with your family and friends. Get the word out about that one, okay? So, speaking of oranges, I want to talk about some oranges here. So, Grandma Anna went to Walmart because I had a taste for some oranges yesterday. And um, I got a bag of, three-pound bag of oranges. Well, I got to tell you, I already knew that these oranges were suspect, okay? I didn't have a good feeling about it when I picked up the bag, but I did. And as you can see, they're made by Agro Merchants Group, um, or they're promoting them. But the product is actually from South Africa. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna Anders here on this YouTube channel. We have orange groves here in the United States. Oranges grew in America long before we got oranges from Africa. So my question is, where are the original orange groves, oranges, organic, where are they going? And why aren't we Americans able to consume them? Why do we need to get oranges all the way, shipped all the way from Africa? Um, well, I'll tell you why. Folks, these aren't real oranges. There's no seeds in these oranges, okay? So these have been uh, genetically modified, okay? And when I talk about GMOs, genetically modification, I want you to remember something, okay, folks? I want you to know about a corporation called Monsanto. Monsanto created Agent Orange, which, which took out all the foliage in Vietnam. And then Monsanto got in big trouble, deep doo-doo, so all of a sudden they merged with Bayer Corporation. And they're still in deep doo-doo because Bayer Corporation's been around for a long time. Um, and I got to tell you, I would not trust any products coming from either corporation, if you will. Not, not today. I wouldn't trust them for myself or my grandchildren or for no one on the planet for that matter. So, back to this question about the oranges, okay? Remember what I said about WTC7, the video. WTC7, this is an orange on YouTube. <laughs> Watch that one. But uh, what I'm talking about here about these oranges is this. You know, we live in the United States of America. We don't need... Oranges shipped to us from, this orange is from Peru. And I'm going to tell you folks, I've already had some these two oranges. I'm not satisfied. I want the original United States of America oranges for us Americans to have and for other people to have too. I mean, nothing wrong with having farms in Africa and making oranges there. But I know already that these are not legitimate legitimately grown and safe oranges to consume. I can tell you that, folks. They are. This here has a chemical taste to it. Doesn't really taste like an orange. I'm not going to... Uh, matter of fact, these oranges are going back to Walmart, to Wally World. So that's what Grandma Anna's going to do, okay? And then, so I don't get sick and get their ick, Grandma made some uh, beef broth, beef, beef bone broth here. And I'm going to eat some of this today. But also I made it for my mother-in-law because she's a little bit under the weather. And um, yeah, so we're going to have that. But I want to share something real quick here, guys. I got more information for you. So just take note of it, please. Um, I took note of it this morning for you. And I want to share something. There's a man by the name of Benjamin H. Friedman. He gave a speech. It's on YouTube. Please listen to that speech. Take your time to listen to that speech. Then watch this documentary. It's called From JFK to 9-11, A Rich Man's Trick. When you're done with that, since they're doing food warfare, basically, that's what Monsanto and uh, Bear Corporation is doing to us. It's getting us sick. Um, what I want you to watch... They're also doing weather warfare, okay? So I want you to check out this lady. Her name is Deborah, Deborah Tavares, okay? You can see it right there. She's an activist who talks about the weather warfare. Check out her channel and you're going to learn about 5G, smart meters, and all that unhappy stuff, if you will. I mean, it's good to make progress, but when progress uh, harms human health systems, it's not good progress, okay? So we need to be productive and not destructive to our human lives and human values, okay? So next, I want you to check out James Corbett. Uh, James Corbett is an activist. 
out of Japan. He's an American citizen, and you'll like his channel. He's a little bit, uh, I'm going to just say it, a little bit nerdy, but I like James Corbett. Okay, so I don't care. Um, I enjoy him. He gives out actual facts, and that's what we need. We don't, know, we don't need the bullshit. We don't need the fake goods anymore from Monsanto and fake corporations. Okay, people? I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. We need to expose the truth of the human harms that are being done to our humanity from local to global, from past to present. Grandma Anna's shutting down the video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and may we all stay safe on the planet, humanly speaking, and stay united, too. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. And don't don't eat the fake fruit and the fake uh, pro produce, if you will, because it's going to give you, it's going to end up giving you cancer. And speaking of cancer, watch the documentary called The Cancer Report on the YouTube channel, and you're going to learn a little bit about how the cancer industry was created by David Rockefeller, the same man who built this WTC7 building, World Trade Center Complex. I got to go. Bye-bye. Have a great day, everybody.